So you want to own a rental property? My name is Garrett Wong, owner of Upper Edge Property Management. Today, we're going to be discussing sublets. So your tenant has been in the property for a few months and something changes in their lives. Maybe they need to relocate to another province for their work, or they just lost their job and can no longer afford the rent, or they're separating from their partner. Either way, they're locked into a legal contract, the lease, and you're able to hold them to it. Here in Manitoba, we follow the Residential Tenancies Act and they have a very set way of dealing with sublets. But let's back up a second and define a few things. Most people misuse the term sublet, including myself and our entire industry. A sublet is when the tenant subleases part or all of the house to another party. In this context, the tenant would normally lease up the house to another tenant with the intention that they're returning to the home. A uh, typical situation might be someone who wants to travel abroad for a few months but doesn't want to give up their home. An assignment, however, is when the tenant is transferring the lease contract to another tenant, assumes all of the rights and responsibilities they have under that lease contract, but they aren't intending on returning to the unit. Now, the assignment is what happens 90% of the time in our industry, but again, most people still use the term sublet. The rules in Manitoba are clear. When somebody intends on subletting or signing their tenancy agreement, they will inform the landlord of their intention, pay a 75 subletting or assignment fee to the landlord, and then advertise and show the unit at their cost to prospective tenants. As the landlord, you have the ability to process any rental applications and have the final say. So just because the tenant's subletting or assigning, that does not mean they're allowed to approve someone. You always have the final say as the landlord. The only obligation you have as a landlord is to proceed as quickly as possible when processing an application. Once somebody is approved, you have a choice. You can sign them to the existing lease or you can sign them to a brand new term. The choice is up to them, however. You might have a case where the incoming tenant only wants a temporary spot until they decide their future plans and playing out the existing lease works best for them. Hopefully you found this helpful. Join us next week where I'm going to be starting on a mini-series on evictions and best practices. Thanks for watching.